What's up, Gemini? My name's Lisa. And this is your monthly video here. Doing this in February, but this is a reading for whenever you see this. I don't know what's going on with you, Gemini. And this is for you, whether Gemini's, wherever Gemini's in your chart, or even if you're just like drawn to the title, okay? So, because I believe that we can all be, it just depends on whatever energy we're in, but we can really be in any energy. So if you're drawn to the title, that works too. All right. But I feel like Gemini, you're kind of, you've been working too hard. Like there's a, there's a need for you to enjoy what you're doing. Okay. Enjoy what you're creating. Um, there's like a, it's like, I feel like you're trying to achieve something or do something or like, yeah, they're saying to like do something to perfection. And it's like, nothing's going to ever be perfect. And it's, it's really about like enjoying the process of like falling down and getting back up and rearranging things. And, um, I don't know. I feel like you're planning something. Yeah. See, they're, they're trying to tell you to like chill out. Maybe you've been going out a lot and kind of keeping yourself distracted. So there's like a, there's like a, this need, like, I feel like you've been working a lot You've been doing all kinds of, I just feel like you're distracting yourself from what's really going on. But it's like, you feel like because you're busy, like you have a sense of purpose. That's what I'm hearing. But I also feel like you're, it's like, you can sense that something's coming. And because you can sense it, it's like, you're wondering like, when is it today? Is it today? If I do this, is it this, you know, like, it's like, yeah, see, they're, they're saying, let yourself receive, give to yourself. Okay. I do feel like you will be working with someone or working together with some, oh yeah, look at this, this fork in the road. You could even have a choice between two people or two directions of life. Yeah, buy the book. I feel like you want to do things the right way. Okay, this is a two and this is a two. Okay, so um, this is actually an 11. Okay. There's something here in regards to family. Yeah, see, there's something you're keeping hidden. And I feel like this is why you're distracting yourself. Because you, it's like there's something here that you don't want to discuss. like you need to drink more water like a lot more water I'm hearing cleaning up your act yeah see go the distance there's something that you're very close to achieving okay and this is also an 11 so you have 11 11 all right you could be dealing and then this two in the middle it's like What's at the bottom? Breathe. See, like I like I and look at this transformation. Okay, this regeneration card. <sighs> you don't know how close you are. I definitely feel you need to drink some water. Also, like go sit by the water or just like do some sort of um like take a bath, like cleansing ritual in the water. Okay. I feel like you're, you, you may be kind of slightly dehydrated and I just feel like this is going to help like purify you, you know, so that you're, you're more open to receiving, um, information that, that the divine is trying to channel to you. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like, you see, cause look at how this is. This is 11 and this is 11. Okay. There's something about doing something the right way. Okay. And it's like, I feel like these two people are being, there's like two things being merged together. Okay. Or coming together. And then it breaks down to two, cause this is, 
11, which breaks down to a 2. This is a 2. And this is an 11, which breaks down to a 2. So that's 2, 2, 2. So you may be seeing that 2, 2, 2. Okay, February 22nd. And this is an 11. So now we have 2, 2, 2, 2. I'm hearing February 2nd as well as February 22nd. So these could be significant days. And also numbers that I feel like you're, yeah, see, there's some sort of, look, this is coming out again, these two. Truth be told and fork in the road. All right, what's at the bottom? Now we have happy, happy at the bottom. I feel like this is the ultimate, like destiny. Okay. This is a number eight, which is about abundance. Okay. And then the two, two, two adds up to a six, eight and six is 14, which breaks down to a five. So that's like big changes in your life. Okay kind of like all they're giving me here. So let's see. What is the main focus here for Gemini? I just feel like you're becoming more structured or it's like doing things more by the book. Um, and maybe you're not really used to that. But there's something here about slowing down, okay? Following instructions. Learning. It's like gathering information. All right, give me the main energy surrounding Gemini this month. Okay. Yeah, see the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing in your life and for the better, okay? If you've been having some money issues, that's changing. Okay. But I do feel like there is something that it's like, see this go the distance card. It's like taking one more step. It's like, because that's how it feels like things are going step by step by step. And maybe you've like been thinking that it should be going faster. It's like you feel something coming in, but it's not coming in. And it's like, um, So you're trying to force something to happen, but really it's like, you need to just kind of slow things down. Definitely going through some sort of change here. Your life is, is about to change too. Yeah. There's something about some burden from the past. It's like releasing, I'm feeling forgiveness. It's about forgiving something from the past here letting it go. Yes. Heartache. Look. There's something here about, I, I heard like father, like these are, um, it's like inner child wounds, like from, you know, parents. But these last three years could have been very heartbreaking or it's like the last three relationships you've had were very heartbreaking. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Again, with this patience and look, see King of Cups and then the Ace of Cups. It's like, I feel like you have a lot of emotion. You want to express some sort of emotion, offer your love, but it's like, I feel like you're, you, you may still be undecided about what you want to put your efforts towards. It's like having patience. It's like learning to sit still with 
it's like waiting without waiting, you know, it's like having patience and just enjoying the time, you know, like that song, that Miley Cyrus song, the climb, it's like enjoying the climb, enjoying the process of whatever it is that's coming in for you. But I feel like you're getting like super anxious or overthinking and over processing things because you can feel it, but it hasn't happened yet. All right, let me see. Give me one card for the past. The Emperor and the Justice. See, the Emperor is the father. I'm feeling something in regards to the father, but the Emperor can also be someone who's very um, controlled. Okay, this is also divine masculine energy, okay? But there's something you're suppressing, like keeping it hidden. You see how his arm is like it's holding down emotion. Justice. I'm hearing something with court, which like, um, what's over here? Oh, see, look at this the two of cups. feel like you want to send a message, okay? And you've been holding back, like distracting yourself from your emotions, but something's coming in here to change all this here. I heard they're not going to believe I've changed. All right, what's the block here for Gemini this month? Yeah, see, this is something that's like people have walked away from each other. You've walked away from each other in the past. This could have been somebody that you were engaged to or like you were married to them or maybe you lived with them. It's like it, you walked away. Nobody was, um, nobody won here. It, it left like a sour, I'm hearing a sour patch in both of you. But there's something here that can be reconciled, okay? This is conflict. This is chaos. Yeah, see, there, and here's the Three of Pentacles, which is about working together. I'm also hearing something about energetic suicide. So maybe there's something here that's been, like, suffocating you. But whatever this conflict has been, okay, with with maybe one person or just with others in general, it's it's coming to an end. Yeah, through communication. Okay, that's it's like I feel like there was some sort of communication breakdown here. I do feel like there's some sort of message coming in though, okay? Either you're gonna send it out or there's like you're receiving it. All right. What's helping Gemini this month? Okay. To remain stable, being calm, grounded, practical, compromising. Yeah. Continuing to work on yourself. All right. Um, everybody's kind of getting this nine of wands. It's like, change and reflection um, energy here. But again, this is father energy, okay? So I also um, have this feeling that somebody may uh, find out that someone is pregnant or they've gotten someone pregnant, okay? And it's like, or whomever you're dealing with is 
you know, your baby mama, baby daddy, you know. But it's about wanting to do things the right way, okay? Whatever that means, you know, the right way isn't the right way for everybody. Like, it's whatever is the right way for you. But it's like making a more grounded, practical decision about whatever is happening in your life, okay? And not being so stern and rigid. It's like becoming more open to suggestion and to compromise. That's what they're saying. All right, the best possible outcome here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Listen, I feel like um, as far as money is concerned, like that, that is changing. Okay. Yeah. King of wands. Okay. There's, there's some sort of action happening here. You're taking action. Yeah. You're coming into more balance. It's like with, it's like things are being, becoming grounded. It's like, you're no longer just like I don't know. I feel like you're, you, you have your own money, you take care of yourself. Okay. But it's like, maybe it's like you had like this iron fist ruling of the way that your life was going to be and how you were going to be and like what you would do. And something's changing here for you where, because you want, look, I'm telling you, your money is changing. Like you're, you're coming into stability, long-term stability. Okay. You could even be looking at someone else here. Okay. Somebody who has their own, um, money and, you know, ideas. This could be the person, somebody that you're learning to work with. Okay. Moving towards, <sighs> towards this happy, happy, yeah, see, but I do feel like you're trying to come up with a plan or an idea or you have something in mind of what you want to do, how you want to proceed, move forward. Okay, look, and you could be like reconciling with someone. Because that's like an olive branch. It's like, what's at the bottom? The king of wands and the king of wands takes action. So don't worry about your plans not happening because everything's falling into place. But this is very much about divine timing and learning the balance between charging ahead and like enjoying what you're doing. Like instead of like just rushing and trying to make things happen, it's like finding the balance between work and play. Okay. All right. Give me one card here for Gemini. Okay. You're getting two. Yeah. Birthing a new age and sisterhood of the rose. Everybody's getting these two cards. This card, these two cards keep coming out. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Dreaming a new world into be, into being. What you think about, you bring about. Of course, there's action that needs to be taken. There's inner work that needs to be done in order to be able to be that person that can achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. But there's the, also this idea of like, okay, you think about who you whom you want to be or how you want how you see your life. Okay, so what would someone who has that life that you want, what would they be doing on a daily basis? And that's where, that's where you start. And you could be like doing all kinds of different things, but it's like, nothing is like managed and it's like really funneling it down. Okay. And learning how to have fun with it in the process as you're figuring it out. And so, cause there's like this energy of like, I feel like with the conflict, there's this conflict in like, wanting to know and like figuring it out. It's like feeling like there's just one way or, or it's like 
that you're not doing something right, but you're literally like already doing it, Gemini. And you're on your way to achieving the goals you want. Whatever, whatever you're pursuing in business wise, your finances are about to change, like taking a big level up here. Okay. Which is awesome. All right. And for some of you, it's because you come together with, with someone, someone else. Okay. And it's like, it's teamwork. All right. All right. Give me three cards for Gemini here. What does Gemini need to know for, yeah, see calling in your soulmate. I definitely feel it. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring you together. Okay. You could even be working with this person or you met this person at work, something here. Okay. But I feel like, uh, whatever it is, you, you both will either help each other financially, or it's like you start a business together or something. What else here? Yeah. Honeymoon. Okay. This card keeps coming out too. This is about going on a date. This is about being on a, going on a trip with somebody. Okay. This is something that's divinely guided. If you get a personal reading with me, when this card comes out, it's like between now and two months that you, that this happens. Okay. Yeah. See engagement. Some of you, I feel, and it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you could be like contemplating marriage. Okay. Because the emperor is a married person. He's also a father. Okay. Like I said, like somebody could be uh, pregnant and you're thinking about marrying them, or it's like, you're, you're seriously thinking about long-term your, your future and, um, what that looks for you and who is this long-term person that you want to be with. Okay. Because I feel like there is someone that you have in mind. All right. One more card here for Gemini. Okay, this one. Making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, because there is like some sort of hesitation. I feel like you've been avoiding some sort of emotion here. And I, I'm not really sure why, but um, I do feel like you're being guided to... <coughs> yeah, I feel like there's some things that you need to get off your chest and discuss and so you may either be receiving a message from this person or you're being prompt, like I'm being like to, to, to say it. Okay. Yeah. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So somebody could have put their foot down with you. Yeah. And it, it, it caused a separation, but now it's making you uh, think twice about who this person is to you. And it's like, there's a great deal of admiration towards whomever it is that you're thinking about here. And, but there's also a, an avoidance to take action. And I'm not really sure why, cause that's probably different for everybody, but it's just like, just live your life, stay in the moment. I feel like when you know, it's the right time, you'll just know that it's the right time. Whomever you're thinking about, like this person is also thinking about you missing you too. I feel honestly like they're probably doing the same thing, like pushing down their emotions. Like they don't want to feel it either. And I feel like you guys just have to talk to each other. And, um, but it's like, are you going to allow this to happen? Okay. Cause that's, that's really on you. And it says birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So what do you want to create Gemini? Okay. We're all getting that opportunity to, to create it, but you have to believe you can achieve it first. So, all right, there you go, Gemini. I love you. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Bye.